Big news for the Philippine Navy. Reports say Manila is eyeing at least two Asagiri-class destroyers from Japan, on top of the likely transfer of six Abakuma-class DEs. However, these Asagiri ships were designed in the 1980s and carry outdated weapons, such as Octopal Asrock and Sea Sparrow launchers. Today we ask, which Philippine spec upgrades make the most sense? Little surgery with big effect or deeper rebuilds? Let's break it down. The Asagiri class is a medium-sized JMSDF destroyer, 3,500 tons Kogage gas turbine propulsion with a typical loadout, a single 76mm gun, two Phalanx CIWS, Harpoon SSMs, an Octopal Sea Sparrow launcher for local air defense, an Octopal ASROC launcher for ASW, plus 324mm torpedo tubes and an embarked helicopter. The Sea Sparrow Octopal launcher and legacy ASROC were effective in their day, but modern threats, sea skimming anti-ship missiles, swarm boats, drones, and quiet, modern submarines, Demand faster, more automated point defense and more flexible ASW solutions. Also, the Philippines ops need systems that are easy to maintain, interoperable with partners and affordable to operate. So what should guide Manila's choices? Three principles, fit for mission, HADR, EEZ patrol, and sea denial. Minimal structural surgery, keep costs and downtime low. Future-proof and interoperable, easy to integrate with allied systems and sustainment. Replace Sea Sparrow Octopo with Sea Ram, RIM 116. Quick win, why? The Sea Ram carries the RIM 116 rolling airframe missile and uses the same footprint and power as Phalanx CIWS, meaning it can be installed with minimal structural change on ships that have Phalanx mounts or similar locations. It gives much better automated short-range missile defense against modern anti-ship missiles and some drones. This is an attractive swap when you want modern point defense without a major deck redesign. Replace or complement ASROC with a modern ASW rocket launcher modern. ASW rocket systems, Rocketson and others, can deliver lightweight torpedoes or depth charges rapidly at range and can be fitted in modular launcher formats. Roquetson markets an ASW rocket and launcher system specifically for smaller patrol ships and escorts a compact modern alternative to old Octopal ASROC racks. It's a viable path if the PN wants increased ASW reach without full VLS ASROC rebuilds. Added tout array and a variable depth sonar surface launched ASW rockets are useful, but detecting modern subs is half the battle. Installing or upgrading towed array sonars and VDS dramatically raises submarine detection capability, essential for the ASW role these destroyers would play in the archipelago. Upgrade the Combat Management System and Data Links. A modern CMS, Tacticos 9LV Elbit type solutions, combined with Link 16 or compatible data links, enhances situational awareness, enabling the PN to fight as part of a multi ship network, a crucial capability for fleet defense and coordinated hatter tasks. Why CRAM plus Roquetson ASW is a particularly Philippine friendly combo. CRAM is attractive because it fits where Phalanx sits, minimizing ship alteration costs, which is ideal if Manila wants capability fast. Pairing that with a modern, compact ASW rocket launcher like Roquetsons gives a functional ASW punch without rebuilding VLS cells. Together with a towed array and new CMS, these swaps turn an otherwise aging hull into a credible multi-role escort. If I were specifying a Philippine upgrade package for two Asagiri hulls, here's the pragmatic. Phase plans asterisk phase 1 and phase 2. Fast. 12 to 36 months in service refit or rearm with the new weapon systems and integration. The Asagiri hulls offer the Philippine Navy good speed, helicopter capability, and useful space for upgrades. The smartest route is pragmatic. CRAM for point defense modern ASW rockets and sonar for undersea threats, and a modern CMS for fleet interoperability. That combination gives Manila significant capability gains with controlled cost and downtime. What do you think Manila should prioritize first? Air defense, anti-sub, or anti-ship? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Like if you learned something, and subscribe for more updates on Philippine defense and modernization. Thank you for watching. See you at the next video.